Yeah. Yo, yo. Sup, 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 sup. We here. Do anything. Do anything. We here. Okay. We here. What is it, man? Stigmatism. We in my soul. Here. Okay. You got it, man? Do anything. Anything? Anything. You sure? Put your mind to it. Do anything. But what if it's hard, though, man? If it's hard, it's gonna be hard. If it's hard, it's gonna be hard. If it's easy, it's gonna be easy. It's all about what you think. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? What's going on, man? It's uh, November the 4th, 2021. I got to pay my credit card bill. Let me see if that credit... When does that credit card bill do? I think I paid it already. But we here, man. Uh, November the 4th, 2021. It's a Thursday. I think I got the caps lock on. Uh, what time is it? 12.02. What's up with that, man? Why that ain't working? Uh, we here, man. We live. Welcome to the show. This is the podcast with Soul. I go live um, mostly during the week, Monday through Friday, right around 12 noon. And... Uh, And we here, November 19th. Okay, so I do got one due tomorrow. Um, and we go live around 12 noon, man. I just got finished doing some push-ups. I want to give a shout out to my man, Alex, up at Alpha Destiny. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, young dude out of uh, Montreal, Canada, man. He's got a, a fitness and health channel. And uh, he shouted me out the other day, unbeknownst to me, my man Juan from Primitive Training told me that he shouted me out. I didn't put up a coffee video today, man, so we're going to do the coffee now. Look at the steam. Look at the steam. The steam is there. The smoke there. Uh, my man shouted me out, so I, I got him on the phone and... Um, we spoke for a couple minutes, and we decided to do a collab. Uh, but being that he's all the way up in Montreal, Canada, and I'm here in Jersey, um, I can't go up there. He can't come down here with all of the stuff going on. And um, so what we decided is that I'm going to send him some videos. He's going to send me some videos to upload on my channel. And I'm going to send him a couple to upload on his channel. That's what I was just doing. I just came back from the park. Jeremy Jacobs is in the building. Sharma, Merc Crew, Stizzy, Sanchez came in with the red light on, Stefano. Um, so make sure you go subscribe to his channel, Alpha Destiny on YouTube, man. Um, I did a video, I went live the other day on this topic right here on my big page, but I wanted to do it on this page and kind of discuss it and see what we got. Let me, let's, let's look it up, alpha male. An alpha male is a man who takes charge, one who imposes his will on others, not the other way around. Other men want to be him. Women want to be with him. An alpha male intimidates. He's unquestionably in charge, no matter the situation. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. I'm. I'm. This is. Uh, where is this definition from? I'm. Uh, um. I just went on Google 
And I Googled it, and that's what came up. An alpha male is a man who takes charge, one who imposes his will on others, not the other way around. Other men want to be him. Women want to be with him. An alpha male intimidates. He's unquestionably in charge, no matter the situation. Wow, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's let's uh, let's let's talk about that. Let's go in here. See if we can find something in here on it. Alpha, A L P. Now I do know that Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet, right? Alpha. Alpha ray, alpha wave, alpha, alpha, the first letter of the Greek alphabet, the beginning of anything, designating or of the socially dominant member of a group especially a group of animals, the alpha male. That's the one we want. Designating or of the socially dominant member of a group, especially of a group of animals, the alpha male. Um, let's open up the phone lines, man. Let's open up, let's open up the phone lines. I'm going to open up the phone lines, and if you want to call in and discuss this, we can. Please be respectful. Please don't disrespect the show. Please don't disrespect me. Disrespect yourself. Let's, um, you know, you can curse and say whatever you want, but don't don't go too crazy because then YouTube won't monetize the video. If, if, if the words get too out of control, then the... Uh, YouTube won't monetize the video. We don't want to talk about all of the things that are going on in society that have been going on for the last 23 months. Let's stay away from that. But if you want to call in, you know you're here. Hey, 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 Trucker Ron, did, did Ant call you? Did Ant call you? David Andrew says it's the pack leader. 81 support, Alpha the beginning. Greece is in the... House, yo. All right. Shout out to my man, 81 Support over there in Greece. B Productions, what's up, man? I see you. J Inspirated, Miguel Diaz. Truck Around in the building. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Truck Around on his YouTube page. You know, I've been seeing this a lot. You know, this topic and this, um, this topic has been coming up. Well, maybe let me keep it on me. I've just discovered it, I would say, like in the last year or so, just been seeing it more prevalent, alpha male, beta male, sigma male, this and that. I don't pay it much attention, uh, but I see that it gets a lot of feedback on social media, and then a lot of the comments in my comment section on both my YouTube channels it's being mentioned a lot there. We just looked up the definition. Um, the dominant member of a group of of a group, usually animals, the alpha male. All right. Now I don't I'm not gonna get on this podcast and profess that I'm some alpha male and I'm some alpha male. You know, I'm just Sean G. I'm Sean G. Um, if I demonstrate, and I'm, I'm sure that there are times, what was that? What was that? Somebody's calling me.
David, what's up, man? Go ahead. You you on the you on the show, man? What's up? Hold on. Let me put it. Let me put you on. Uh, hold on. Let me put you on uh, speakerphone. David, you there? I'm here, Sean. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. Shout out to my man, David. Follow my man on Brutal Fitness on Instagram. David, you on the live? What's up? Talk to me, man. Sean, I made a comment today on uh, one of your videos. You were talking about um, not emulating others. And it was in, it was really interesting. A really good video. Two things I wanted to say is one, I think you should make a full, bigger uh, uh, video about that subject. Um, but the other thing I was hoping maybe you could speak a little about the positive benefits of having a mentor. Not completely imitating someone, but taking the opportunity to emulate someone who's inspirational and how, you know, I personally believe that's not a bad thing. No, absolutely not. You know what? Actually, I was talking to, um, who was I talking to, man? I think I was on my live the other day on the big channel and I was talking to, you know, the younger dudes and telling them that, you know, find you an older person, older man in your life, man, that you can bounce your ideas off of, that you can bounce your fears off of, that you can bounce your thoughts off of, that you can bounce your confusion off of, that you can bounce your insecurities off of. And like you saying, David, they act as like a mentor. And, and, and you're exactly right. You're not copying them. You know, you're still maintaining your integrity in your own style, but you're getting some guidance from somebody. Indeed. 15, 20, 25 years older than you that's already been through it, man. Well, the, the problem I had when I was young, younger, um, was that, you know, I would hang most of the time with other guys who were young, and frankly, we were, all, we were all just knuckleheads together, and we didn't have a single individual who was looking to pull anyone up. Same with me, man. Same with me. What's, what, what, what sense does it make for me? Well, let me say this. Well, I'm going to say them both. What sense does it make for me? I'm 23 and I'm going to talk to another 23 year old about a huge issue and situation in my life. It doesn't, it doesn't make much sense. Now, if I'm 23 and I go talk to an older dude who's 43, then I open myself up for some help. Indeed. Indeed. And this also ties into the fact we've got so many young men now don't have a positive father figure. Um, you know, it's a worldwide issue. I know it's a big issue for, for young black Americans, but it's a worldwide issue where people don't have a positive father figure who would normally be the primary guy that someone should look to. Um, but that's missing now. Where'd, where'd you grow up, David? In Scotland. Let me say this here, man. You know, it's definitely a problem in the black American community here in America, but I was ignorant to the fact until my YouTube and my Instagram platform grew and I'm FaceTiming with kids in Portugal. I'm FaceTiming with kids in the Netherlands. I'm FaceTiming with kids in New Zealand, Australia, Ghana, Nigeria, Chile, Brazil, the Caribbean, West Coast, East Coast, all races, Asians, and all of these young dudes, David, are telling me the same thing, man. I didn't have no father figure, man. Indeed. And 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 and, and, and there's a piece missing, and, and I know about that piece because that's how I grew. Yeah, absolutely. Most deaf. You know, I'll say one last thing, Sean, and then I'm gonna bounce because I want to be able to watch the podcast. I can't call in and watch the podcast at the same time. I'll say one last thing. As long as the government are paying young women more money and benefits to not have, con you know, um, parental, you know, proper uh, paternal contact with her father, as long as they're paying them more benefits, we're always going to have problems. I agree, man. I agree. Um, that was the narrative that I heard in the 70s that, you know, if mothers wanted to go on welfare, if you wanted to get government assistance, you couldn't, you couldn't have a man in the household. You know, and, yeah. and um, you know, that, that that goes on in Europe too, David? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a terrible, it's a plague in, in Scotland. You know, we have people, you know, you, what, what happens is people pretend to be separated 
so they can ha- they can get more government benefit. Mm. And then what happens is when you're pretending to be separated, you end up actually being separated. Mm. Mm. Crazy. D. Crazy. D. Listen, I'm going to bounce, but I want to just thank you, Sean, for, for the videos, for the inspiration, all the stuff you're putting online on right, the podcast. But, and one, one last thing, people, subscribe to the Patreon. Thank you, David. I'm going to see you soon. Take care, brother. All right, man. Peace. Goodbye. All right. Bye. Call from Scotland. International platform. Call from Scotland in the building. The same issues that's going on in Cleveland are going on in Scotland. The same things that are going on in Ninth Ward and New Orleans is going on in Scotland. The same situation that's going on in Watts in L.A. are going on in Scotland. This is a worldwide phenomenon. Um, David made a good point about, I put up a video today on my Instagram. Don't follow nobody. Don't bite nobody's style. Everybody's playing follow the follower. But let me tell you something to the young dudes, man. The best thing that you can do to help yourself and you want to grow into being an alpha male You want to learn how to be that? The best thing you can do if you are in your 20s and you listen to this is find you an older cat that's got you by 20. If you're 25, find you somebody 47, 48 years old and tell them and ask them. Say, yo, man, I'm 25, man. I'm crazier than a bag of dust, man. I'm making all kinds of mistakes. I'm bumping my toe. I'm running in the brick walls. I'm emotional, I'm all of this. Can can me and you talk on the phone or can we meet up once a week to have coffee? I buy you coffee. Can can you can I can I talk to you? And I would be hard pressed to find an older cat that'd be like, nah, nigga, I ain't fucking with you. Get out of here. I don't see that. I think they would be like, absolutely, man, because we all wanna help one another, man, and and give back what we learned so that maybe some people, somebody don't have to make the mistakes that we made. I was talking to somebody the other day, man, and we was talking about just this thing, man. Maybe it'll come to me. Um, but I remember, man, when I got clean from drugs and alcohol, when I got clean from drugs and alcohol, um, Eric M., what up? One of the things you do when you get clean and you get in a recovery group is you get what you get what is called the sponsor, right? So if I'm clean only four days and then I'm going to groups and meetings and I see somebody that's been clean for two and a half years, right? I need to talk to him. And my first question, and this is how I was when I got clean. My first question was, yo, how the hell do you stay clean for two and a half years, man? Because I can't stay clean for two and a half hours. How do you do that? And they begin to tell you. But it really, for me, it really wasn't even much of what they were saying. It was, but just being in their presence, just looking at them, right? And listening to their stories and how they felt to see if they were lying or telling the truth because... A person that fixes transmissions can tell, he can, he could be in another room listening to a guy in a whole nother room that he don't he can't see visibly, but he can be listening to him and know just from listening to him that my man knows how to fix transmissions or don't know how to fix transmissions. And I would get around these dudes, they had a year and a half clean, three years clean, seven years clean. And all I wanted to do was just watch them. All I wanted to do was just go to the diner with them, drink coffee with them. And they mentored me, man. And they gave me hope. They were examples by sight that, damn, this nigga got seven years. I could do it too. You know, and then eventually, you know, today y'all know my story. I got 31 years. You see it. Procan Genetics, how can you find an older person to talk to like that if you don't know where to find them? 
Well, you, you, you gotta see, you, you gotta, you gotta go. If you want to help yourself, you gotta get up off your ass and go out, and you gotta intermingle with people. I, I don't know your story, Procan. You know what I'm saying? And I don't say this disrespectfully to you. I'm talking to all forty of y'all in here. Nah, nah, see, 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 see. Nah, 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 nah. We don't do it like this, man. It's 40 of y'all in here. I got 24 likes, man. Nah, man, nah. Don't go like that, man. Don't go like that, man. You come in here, you wipe your feet at the door, you hit the like button, you sit down, and you get involved in the live chat. You understand? Now, why I got 40 people, I got 32 likes. What, what, what is that? What is that? If I got 40 people in, I'm supposed to have 40 likes. Pro Can, I'm talking to everybody, man. You got to get up and you got to fix your life. You got to fix your life. You're fixing your life by coming on here listening to me, right? I'm giving you a suggestion. I don't know where you live, who you are, what your name is, what... I can't come to your town and help you hold your hand. Yo, go talk to them. You got to find that on your own. You got to open up your mouth. If you want the kitty cat, if you see that fly, honey, you want some kitty cat, you got to go over to her and talk to her. Compliment her. Tell her what's up. Get her number. Give her your number. Can I get you, can I buy you a slice of pizza? You want a soda? Where you going? You walking home? You driving home? You got a ride home? What's up? Can we go to the movies? Let's go check out this new movie. Can we go, can we meet up at the library? And you talking to her, you talking to her. And you know that eventually, you're going to be able to hit it. Hey, yo, man, this the podcast with Soul. Nigga got that motherfucking fed look. I said astigmatism in my soul. You know, I offer a program on my Patreon channel, and that link is at the top of the live chat. That if you want to rap to me, I'm open for that, but you have to pay me because of for my time. Dudes hit me all the time on my Instagram, right? Sean, I need help with this. Sean, can, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. If, if, if I responded and I want to, if I responded to every DM or sometimes dudes are hitting me straight up FaceTime, if, if I did that every day, all day, I would, I would have no time to do nothing else. That's how many I get. So I, I, I can't give that. I can't give you that for free. Although... I'm that kind of nigga, you understand? I'm not, money don't move me like that. I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't mother, you know what I'm saying? I'm good dude like that. I've been like that my whole life. But for my time with my business, this is my business. I'm an entrepreneur. This is all I do. I have two YouTube channels. I got a Patreon channel. I got a 10-year-old son that's a baseball phenom. You understand? I got a house. I got rent. I got bills. So if I give you my time, then the least you could do is go buy all three of my books. You buy all three of my books, you spend $60, you want to talk to me on the phone, I'm going to talk to you on the phone because you fucked with me. But just on the strength, I can't do it. I would if I bump into you at Walgreens or if I bump into you at Whole Foods and you want to rap, kick it for a minute, yo, I'm going to listen. I do that, and I do that for some. I still do that, but I can't do it for everybody. Um, but, you know, let's get back to the alpha male thing, man. Let's get back to that. The alpha male, let's read it. An alpha male is a man who takes charge, who imposes his will on others, not the other way around. Other men want to be him. Women want to be him. An alpha male intimidates. He's unquestionably in charge no matter what the situation. That I Googled that. If you Google alpha male, 
That'll come up. Truck around on the. Hey, yo, man, this the podcast with Soul. Truck around on the Super Chat check in. I told my man Ant, I got a young dude, Ant, here in Jersey, just got his CDL. I told him to call Truck around. Truck around got his own truck, his own authority, doing his own thing, 40 something years old. I put Ant in touch with him. Hopefully he caught. I don't know. But if Ant is smart, that would be his first phone call. If you got a CDL or you trying to get your CDL, talk to somebody that's got it already and got their own truck. They can help you avoid some of the mistakes. An alpha male is a man who takes charge. That's me. That's me. One who imposes his will on others. Sometimes I'm that. Not the other way around. Sometimes I'm that. Other men want to be him. That's me. Women want to be with him. That's me. An alpha male intimidates. I don't think that's me. He unques- he's unquestionably in charge. Sometimes, no matter what the situation... I don't think, I think we all can vacillate and, what's some more layman's term I'm looking for? We can vacillate, we can go from one extreme to the next. Maybe we're in charge of a situation, then maybe we're not. We with our lady, we with we, 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 we a female, right? For a huge part of the night, we the alpha male. We we imposing our will. We mentally, we in charge of the situation. But then the vibration may change. A situation may arise. A circumstance may arise. Or a conversation may change. And then she may be imposing her will on me. Right? So for me to say that perpetually and continually I'm alpha male you know, 23 hours, 56 minutes, and four seconds of every day, nah, nah. You understand? You know, you're gonna vacillate. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, oscillate from left to right. You're gonna vacillate from high to low. You know, in the Kabbalion, in the Kabbalion, it talks about this. It talks about this in the principle of gender. In the Kabbalion, it talks about this in the principle of gender. I don't play with y'all. I'm not scared of y'all. I don't, I'm not scared of y'all. I'm a scholar, man. I study. I read, man. I study. Principle of gender. The principle of gender. I wrote all this down. Look at all my notes. I wrote all this down when I was in prison, man. Look at all this. Look at all my writings, man. Look at that. Highlight, write, highlight. I wrote, I damn near copied the whole Kabbalion down. Look at that. I damn near copied the whole Kabbalion down. I damn near copied it down. Mental gender. The masculine principle of mind corresponds to the so-called objective mind, the conscious mind, the voluntary mind the active mind. The feminine principle of mind corresponds to the so-called subjective mind, subconscious mind, involuntary mind, the passive mind, right? So I broke this down and I labeled this, right? The masculine is voluntary, active, conscious, and objective. The feminine is involuntary, passive, subconscious, and subjective. The principle of mental gender gives the truth underlying the whole field of phenomena of mental influence. The tendency of the feminine principle is always in the direction of receiving impressions, while the tendency of the masculine principle is always in the direction of giving out or expressing. 
The feminine principle conducts the work of generating new thought, concepts, ideas, including the work of the imagination. The masculine principle contents itself with the work of the will. This is deep. Feminine principle allows their minds to be impressed upon with the images and ideas of others and therefore dominated. The masculine dominates its own mind and rejects and refuses attempted impressions trying to be made by others outside, develops, creates, and makes its own images for its own self. It wills this to reality. So... Those are, those are the habits, traits, and characteristics of an alpha male. It's a mentality. It's a mentality. Never once did I hear in those readings... Did it say an alpha male is one that goes out with a gun and shoots up the corner or kills somebody? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say an alpha male is somebody that gets on a rap song, becomes a rapper, gets on a rap song, and talks about a fantasy of all the drugs they sold and the guns they carry. It doesn't say anything about that either. What it is is a mindset. It's a mentality that you have to guard your mind. You hear me say it all the time. You know, I impose my will on my life. I don't let life impose its will on me. Dave, appreciate you, man. You know, you, you got to, um, just be yourself, man. I think if you're being yourself, I think if you're being your true self, you're being a man amongst men, right? No matter how bad a motherfucker is, there's always somebody out here badder, right? So... I think we need to be alpha males of our ciphers. We need to be alpha males of our psychological domains. What you mean, Sean? My cipher is my life. I need to be an alpha male from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. In terms of me imposing my will on my life. taking care of my errands, doing all the things that I need to do, going to work, paying my bills, buying my food, taking care of my children. All of these things. Um... I mean, I don't even really know what an alpha male is other than what they just said on this Google uh, on this Google definition, man. One who takes charge. You should be taking charge in your life. It's your life. You know, one of the things, one of the places that we can readily see alpha male... And I guess beta male. Let me look up beta male. What's a beta male? Let's look up beta male. A beta male, subordinate male animal in a particular group, a man tending to assume a passive or subservient role 
in social or professional situations. Hmm. A beta male is a man who lacks masculine energy and adopts feminine characteristics, often faces problems or confrontations passive aggressively. Hmm. Check that out. Let's look up Sigma male. Chuck Ross, let's look up Sigma male. A strategy typically used to introverted by a strategy typically used by introverted males. Sigma male traits include focusing on mastery, strength, world-class social skills, ability to be alone. Hmm. Interesting. A sigma male is essentially an introverted alpha male, offering misguided men a chance to place themselves at the very top of this imaginary. Hmm. Interesting. 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 So, you know, I guess at any, at any point, anybody could be any one of the three. You can be an alpha, you could be a sigma, you could be a beta. But I think to say that one is constantly one or the other, uh, you know, and I would assume that if you push a beta too far, press him too far, he'll become an alpha. You know, anybody, any living thing can be stirred to fight. They talk about that in the art of war. Any living thing can be stirred to fight. And this happens as a matter of natural law. Um, I don't know, man, you know, oh, this is what I was talking about. I mean, if you look at what's been going on in the world, right? The last, thank everybody for hitting that like button for me. Appreciate y'all. If you look at what's been going on in the world for the last two years, Almost two years, 22, 23 months, right? You can see a lot of men allowing their minds to be dominated by propaganda, media, the news, the television. Whether they believe what's being said or not, they're allowing their minds to be dominated, right? They're allowing their minds to receive impressions. That's why the television is so strong. You know, and I think at certain times, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, receiving impressions from external sources. I can't go around my whole life and be like, yo, I ain't, I ain't listening to nobody. I'm not taking in nothing, what nobody's got to say about nothing. Nah, I can't get like that. Then that's, I'm a fool. But conversely, on the flip side of the coin, I can't be like, well, I'm taking in everything everybody says about every situation and I'm going to let everybody impact my mind. Nah, then I'm a sucker. You know? But you look at what's going on, man. Um, you look at what's going on, and you see these dudes, man, supposedly hardcore dudes, you know, wearing Tims and, you know, hardcore, you know, talk that kind of talk, you know, mean grill, and they're wearing a mask. You understand? So what 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 is that? What is that if that's not contradiction? You know, an alpha 
you would assume is like, uh, hey, man, you know, I'm all right, you know? I'm okay with where I'm at. LPK in the building, Psychological Warfare. Retired maniac, my man. MZ, thank you for that super chat, man. Appreciate you. I said a stigmatism in my soul. Green Crystal's in the building. You know, at some point, at some point, you got to decide to take control of your life at some point. You got to decide to take control of your life, man. You know, you, 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 um, you're going to have to step out there. And that's what, it, that's what it's about. That's what it's about, man. You know? And you can learn from somebody older than you, man, what to do and what not to do, man. You can, you can save yourself a lot of trouble and pain. And there's nothing weak about that. You know, I think a lot of people prevent themselves from getting the help that they need and can use by thinking that it's weak or that it's soft to ask another man for some help. Man, that's, nah, nah, not at all. You know, Everybody needs help at one point or another in their life, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you will be helping yourself by getting a mentor. You know, somebody older than you that can help you understand, you know, what it is that's causing you some 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 confusion and some issues, man. You know? So I don't know, man. That's that's pretty much what I got on the alpha male, man. Um, you know, I exhibit some of those qualities according to what um, it says here. You know? But hey, you know, we live, we learn, we don't stop no matter what. Appreciate you, Stizzy. Lena B, what up, Sean? You've helped me so many times without even knowing that you are a mentor for me and many others, but simply making these videos. Thank you, man. You know, thing is, is that be aggressive. Be aggressive in life. You know, be a man. If you a man, if, if you were born a man, then be a man. And being a man is a mentality. It's not how tough you are, you know. It's nothing to do with that. Be a man. There's a lot to it. I can't even describe it. I, I can't sit here and say, yo, these are the characteristics and the traits of a man, you know. Some, but it's every. We're all different. We all come from different backgrounds. We all come from different places, and um, you know it. It's gonna vary. It's gonna vary from from person to person, man. It's gonna vary from from person to person, but you know, being a man is what it's all about. You know. And don't be misguided. Don't be misguided. I think a lot of young guys are misguided by the rap industry and, and rappers and rap music as to as to what a man is and what a man ain't and how they gotta act and I 
I disagree wholeheartedly, man. You know, a lot of these rappers, a lot of these young guys in this rap game are really little boys, little children, man. Psychologically, little children that have just reached the age of 20-something. That's the extent of it. But as far as emotionally and mentally and spiritually, they're still children. You know, and... You know, they've, they've lacked guidance and then they refuse any type of good guidance coming their way. So you got to be, you got to be mindful of that. I got the dope cup of coffee. What's up, Tony? You know? I don't know. What else? What else y'all got? Y'all got any, uh, y'all help me out here. Stefano, a bridge you can use to further understand the distinction between Alpha and Sigma is through the behavior of the lion. A lion can be both a nomad and leader of a pack, may be useful to grasp. Okay. Shout out to my man, Christopher Marie. He's a real estate agent up in Pennsylvania. Hey, everyone, I'm a realtor in the PA area. If you need anything with real estate, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Shout out to my man, Christopher, in promoting this thing. Stizzy, one good mentor can be more informative than a college education and more valuable than a decades of income. Let that sink in. How you know if you met with the right woman? I don't know. You know that. How could I tell you if you met the right woman for you? Because I don't know you, I don't know her. Only you know that. Stop seeking confirmation from people outside of you. Everybody wants to get approval from somebody else. You don't know what woman is right for me. Only I know that. Yo, yo, I met this girl, man. She's going to be perfect for you. How? How do you know? How do you know what mind state I'm in? How do you know how I feel? Yeah, I remember me, me used to hang out back in college. In college? That was 30 years ago. I'm changed. Yo, we used to hang out. Remember, we was on the softball team about five years ago. Five years ago, I've changed in five years. Who I was three years ago, I'm no longer him. Stop reaching out and getting needing approval and confirmation from other people about something that you need or you want. You have to decide. You understand? That's weak. That's some weak shit right there. And I used to be there, Eric. I ain't dissing you. I used to be there like that too. I needed approval. When I did something, I needed my mother's approval. Yo, Ma, what if I did this? I could be all in. It could be perfect for me. This is when I was in my teens and 20s. It could be perfect for me. It could be suit me. It could be perfect for me. It could be what I'm supposed to do. And I, yo, Ma, what about this? Uh, that ain't no good. Don't do it. And I would let her blow my candle out because I needed her approval. Stop that. Stop going to people asking them to approve your life. And shit for you. You a man. Be a goddamn man. If that's what you want to do, you'll know if she good for you or not. I can't tell you that. Corey, what up? I'm doing great, man. Transcendental. Scriz, the Diz, Miami Soldier, Daniel Searson. What up? Corey, what's up, man? Stop going to people, yo, what about, what if I do this? What if I do that? No, you decide what you want to do and what's right for you. And then if you start experiencing any kind, any type of issues or situations or circumstances while you're in there, that's what you got your older male mentor for, to bounce it off. I got dudes that call me, man, young dudes, man. All nationalities, all races, Spanish, white, 
black, African, Caribbean, European, Asian, everywhere, South American. And they 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 call me and they just uh y'all heard that? Somebody sent me a text. Who sent me a text? Um they call me and they just vent. They just vent. They just vent. And I listen. All I do is listen to them. You understand? They be having. With Square, you can make money and make the most of it. So they give you access to your money instantly. And then you can save it, spend it, and get more of it. Hold on, y'all. They um they 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 call me and I let them they vent. Yo Sean, you know, one of them wanted to one of them, you know, wanted to jump on somebody, had some issues on the job and wanted to, you know. Jump on a nigga, man. Jump on him and, you know, because he felt disrespected. And he young. And I would have, I would have felt, I would have, I would have, when I was his age, I felt the same way. I felt the same way. But I had to talk him down as a, as a 52 year old and him being in his 20s, you know, I had to explain to him that. Yeah, I dig how you feel. Yeah, what my man did was wrong, but it ain't deep enough for you to lose your job over. It's not that deep. Only thing happened, man, you got your ego hurt, you got your pride hurt. You understand? That's it. And that'll heal in about 48 to 72 hours. You'll be back. You understand? And you've already communicated to my man that please don't, Handle you like that. As long as you address it, somebody say something foul to you, somebody do something foul to you, and you go to them, you really be wanting to bust their ass. You really be wanting them to feel a lot of pain. You really be wanting them to understand you not to be played with, right? But you thinking like, I got a daughter, you know, that goes to gymnastics three days, three nights a week. That costs me. $200 a month, you know, my daughter depends on me to pick her up from school four days a week. If I jump on this dude, number one, I'm going to lose my job. I won't be able to pay for my daughter's gymnastics. Number two, he going to press charges or somebody's going to have it on the cell phone. It could end up, I could catch a case, go to jail. Who's going to pick my daughter up from school? You have to think like that in today's world. Right? And as long as you confront the person and let them know, like don't let this be the first and last time. Don't, 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 don't do me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Don't handle me like that. That's enough. That's enough. That's alpha male. Beta male is to not say nothing and just let and it just gets worse and worse and worse, and they just keep disrespecting, disrespecting. And then at that point, that becomes your fault because you're not, you're not stopping it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I got another young dude in his 20s. You understand? Got issues with, you know what I'm saying? Women, man, you know? Was, you know, buying pussy all the time. You know what I'm saying? And then when it came time, when he got tired of that, the money, when 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 he saw that the what it was doing to his pocket in his pocketbook from all the money he was spending, then he wanted to get rid of a real lady. You know, he was having issues doing that, and I just told him, you know, just chill. You know, and then he's listening to these other stupid ass rappers and other dudes on YouTube with the fake alpha male. You know, and I'm saying like, nah, man, don't listen to none of that, man. Just be yourself. Tell that girl who you are. Show that girl who you are. 
obviously she like you. If she calling you and texting you, if the girl calling you and texting you, she like you. She's taking time out of her day. You are on her mind and she's reaching out to you. That means you are on her mind. She likes you. When a woman ain't texting you and she ain't calling you and she ain't checking for you, she don't like you no more. I don't care if you're married to her or if you, y'all call yourself living together in a relationship. If she ain't doing that, she's doing that for somebody else. Yes. When a woman, when you on a woman's mind, she, when you on a woman's mind, she's going to do that. You understand? You know, so I, I, I talk to these young dudes and I, I, I like it. I get a kick out of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got another one, you know, he got a big job, big corporate job. You know, he knows I did the corporate thing at one point and he called and I just, I let him talk and I just let him, you know, bounce his, his stuff off. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I... The politicians in Washington have undercut on, American yeah. manufacturing and allowed China to threaten our jobs. Now... Um, you know, I listen, I let him talk, and, and then I, I offer what I can, you know? And then with me, with me, when I, when I ain't feeling right, when my energy is off and I'm not feeling right, I'm discouraged or whatever, I reach out to some dudes that I was in the joint with. You know, one brother's older than me. You know, he mentored me. A lot of them mentored me in so many ways. We got so tight. I'll reach out to them and be like, man, eh, man, yo, check this out, man. Boom, boom, ah, yeah, yeah. And they'll just listen. And then, you know, by the end of the phone conversation, I feel better. And, and vice versa. They'll call me. We do the same thing. You know, we do the same thing. What's up with my unk, Sean G? Call you unk because it's more respectful than brother. Georgia Gumby's still alive. I see you, King Nicholas gang. I see you, man. Appreciate the game. KVNG, Nicholas, I see you, man. I was dating. I was a dating coach at one point. Loads of males didn't have the proper influence. They're too scared, failed, rejected. CB959, Alicia Blue. Okay. Can't find someone who eats like I like myself. Then you sis, and if I be complimenting all women, especially if if I mean it, if something stands out, I will tell her it's good to compliment they need it. Cedric Webb, what up, man? Nassar Nassar. I hold doors for everybody, man. I hold doors for everybody. If you in prison and you 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 walking in the door and it's a dude right there within walking distance of you and you don't hold the door for him, that could turn into an issue. They've done it for me in the joint and I've done it for them. I hold the door. That's respect. I hold doors for dudes out here. I hold doors for anybody. That's respect. That says a lot about me. That says that my character is all of that. That says that my mentality is all of that. That says that I'm a man. I'm a piece of shit if I walk into a door and somebody's right behind me and I don't hold the door for them. Yeah. I may bring it up if you don't hold the door for me. I may. I might. Damn, you can't hold the door? I might, depending upon what kind of mood I am. It could turn into something different. So instead of me... If it's a situation that can go way bad that I don't need in my life at that time, let me err on the side of caution. Let me err on the side of doing the right thing and the good thing to prevent this from happening. Let me not be an asshole and let this thing escalate and I could have prevented it. I 
Absolutely, Scriz. Scriz the Diz. I, I don't care who you are in the world. I don't care who you are. I'm showing love, especially an old person. I'm showing love. I'm holding the door for you. And then I'm going to open up the other one for you. You ain't going to have to do nothing. You don't have to do nothing. But yeah, man. Um, you know, the best thing you could do with... with with your woman, man, with 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 a woman, man, it's just be just be yourself. <laughs> just be your true self. That's all that's the best thing you could do is just be your true self, man. You know what I'm saying? If 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 the honey, you know what I'm saying, you know, you gotta you gotta exert your masculinity. There's two species, a masculine, a male species and a female species. The male species is the dominant species. This is nature. This is natural law. This comes from the universe. This comes from the sun, moon, and stars. This comes from God or whatever you want to call it. This is the way we were made. You look at all of the species on the earth, the male gene is the dominant gene, and you have to be that. Animals don't have any kind of logic or reasoning. They just act off of their instinct, which is why you will always see the male elephant leading the pack. I was in South Africa. I went to South Africa in 2010. I went to Kruger National Park. And I saw a pack of about 90 elephants all in a group. It was about 90 of them. And at the head of the group was not a female. That's not going to happen. The big male lions are not going to follow no female. I mean, excuse me, the big male elephants are not going to follow no female elephant. At the head of them 90 elephants was a big male elephant with the tusks. He was leading the way and everybody was following him. The Cape Buffalo was the same way. Saw a big, the zebras. The big Cape Buffalo, you could see a pack of about 60 of them. And what you're going to see in the front is that big male with them big ass, thick ass horns in the front. He leading the charge. That's the way that it goes. So in our lives and in our relationships, yeah, we got to compromise and do this and that. And, you know, the the man-made laws and, Uh, courts, you know, child support courts and things like that favor the female, but you got to elevate your mind above that and still know and acknowledge these lower man-made law facts, these lower human facts, but then you got to still tell yourself that you still the dominant male and you you have to handle yourself accordingly, man. (laughs) I think a good strong eye contact speaks volumes also about the three, their character. It's like strength of character. Have good posture and have manners. Be yourself and love yourself. All the disrespect and stuff won't happen or it will happen for the last time. The lady skin, what up? That's a fact, man. You know? When I'm with my female friends, you know, I I, I have to... I don't goddamn, I can't, yo, everything going my way. We doing, we, but Sean, I want to eat Italian food tonight. Nah, we going to the Chinese restaurant. But I want to eat Italian. Nah, we eating Chinese. Why? Because I said, nah, nah, nah. No. What you want to eat tonight, man? You want some Portuguese? All right, come on, let's go. You know? But always maintain your manhood. Alex, what up? A real woman don't want no... A real woman, she wants a... She wants a... She wants a masculine man. She can't resist that. She can't help that. Ain't nothing she could do. She loved that. Instinctively, by nature, she's naturally attracted to that. 
strong man. And it's for no other reason than that she's a female. That's her nature. That's her nature. Understand? That's her nature. <laughs> so, you know, just keep working on yourself. Keep doing the best you could do. And uh, yeah, keep doing the best that you could do, and um, you know, just keep living your life, man. What else going on? Anybody else got any kind of questions? Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Thank you for giving me all the likes, man. I appreciate you for that. Subscribe to my Patreon channel. If you want to talk to me, man, you want to start a mentorship situation, hit me on my Patreon. The link is right here at the top of the chat. Let me put it up here one more time for you. Hey, Tony B, don't come on here with that, man. We don't want to hear nothing about that, man. This ain't what that conversation is about, man. I'm going to bring that over here. If you bring that over here, I'm going to block you. That ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about, man. Everything else good? Salvador Aguilar, what up, man? I see you, man. Y'all be yourselves, man. Step to the honeys, man. I'm going to block you, homeboy. Get off of here. You done. You out of here. You out of here. Yo, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Share the video. Yeah, we don't do the buffoonery over here, man. You got to go to mother channels for that. All right, Daniel, I see you, man. I see you. All right, y'all, listen, let me get up out of here, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next go-round. I might go live again tomorrow. What's today? Today is, uh, today is Thursday. I might go live tomorrow, maybe. Remember, I go live during the week, Monday through Fridays, usually at 12 noon on the dot. Um, sometimes I go Saturday and Sunday, but mostly it's 12 noon. And uh, if you don't get the um, notification, just know that around 12 noon, Sean G may be live. I don't go live every day. Uh, you're welcome, Sharma. But usually when I feel something, uh, I'll go live. And this this was on my heart, man. A lot of dudes been reaching out to me about this. And just be yourself, man. Don't follow nobody. Follow your, follow your heart. Follow your mind. Follow your soul. And be the best that you could be, man. Sean G, I'm out, man. Hey, yo, man. This the podcast with soul. Yeah. Uh.